hello everyone welcome back to my channel i'm super excited to receive this package i got a new package from my little crafty shop who is lisa um not to be confused with happy crafter shop who is also lisa okay but guys i love lisa's design she has the cutest little designs she is so creative and she just comes up with these awesome ideas and so I am so excited to see some new dyes in her shop, you guys. I've been hounding her. I'm like, Lisa, what's going on? Where's the new dyes? Where's the new dyes? So here they are, you guys. Let me unbox it with you guys. Thank you so much, Lisa, for sending me this package. You guys, you can use my code Poochie10 to save 10% off your entire purchase with her. She has some amazing dyes. I'm going to link down below um my playlist for her if i don't have one already i'm gonna create one for her because i have played with several of her dye oh my god look at how cute oh this is so cute i love her packaging like these little plastics they're the bomb okay i'm so excited you guys so she was this is the shop where, let me see, do I have it? Do I have it? I have like projects everywhere, but she's the one who made that adorable little purse box. Oh, I don't know where it is. I'm going to just link the video down below. She has some really great dyes in her shop. A lot of them are sold out. Like the rosette one is, um, I've been wanting to play with that one. But I've been feeling kind of bad that it's sold out and I don't want to like show it to you guys and you guys want it and then she doesn't have it available. But go check out her site, you guys. Check out her YouTube channel. I'm going to have a link down below. She actually has some tutorials on how to put some of these things together. Oh my gosh, she sent me the book. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let me see what we got here. Okay, I kind of, so I saw her YouTube um, video already of this book, guys. I'm so excited. I don't know where to start. Okay, let's start with the dies, all right? We have this one here, and this one creates a banner, guys. It is a really cute design, and it looked a lot bigger in her video than it does in person. I want to actually... And guys, look at these little tools. I know Scrap Diva Designs has some of these tools, some similar tools to some of her dies that I've been showing, guys. And these are a completely different size, so they're going to go hand in hand. These are a lot smaller. Okay, this one is, this is going to measure three by two, a little bit over two and a half. So what is that? Three fourths, I think. I don't know. You guys know. So you get the outside piece. And I remember her saying that you can like put a paper clip, one of those jumbo paper clips probably over this, and it will fit really nicely, okay? So you're gonna have your outside piece, which is here, and then you're gonna have your inner stitch piece. And look at these little tools, they're so tiny, you guys. Let me see how tiny the tools are. One inch, so cute. I love the little plants. Is that called a planter? Whatever it's called. Can y'all tell I'm not a gardener? A little bit over an inch. Okay. So what did I do with the plastic? That quick, you guys. That quick. Oh my God. I just got so much stuff. In my craft room, it is... I'm surrounded by craft supplies because I've been trying to do so many projects. Here it goes. Right here in my face. So this is adorable. This is um, going to make a banner. You can make this a shaker and load it up. It's a really cute die. I'm excited to play with that. I'm going to see what I come up with for that. Okay. And then the next die we have is this box, you guys. So in her video, they look so much bigger than they are in person. This is so cute. This is going to make a box. I'm going to link the website down below so you guys can see. She has pictures of what it will look like. And so this is like a little treat box, if you will, so you can like pack it with goodies i think this is actually a really nice size to do a really nice sequin mix with some like dimensional aspects like you know how i'll be putting the cabbage cabochons in there and beads and stuff like that i think this is a really nice box to do that so i may do that so you're gonna get your outside piece you're gonna cut this twice and again she has a tutorial on how to put this together 
You got your stitching pieces. You can cut windows with these dies. I love that there's a scallop. This you can put on the ends. So it kind of reminded me of um, those little like, you know, those little clear pouches and the outsides are kind of like this, like a little candy thing and you fill it. That's kind of what it reminded me of. So we have the small box, okay? And then we have the bigger box, okay? And I like that this one has a different frame. That's cool. You can use this for a lot of different things. She's got her stitching pieces. And then there's some more of the top pieces if you wanted to put it here. So again, check out the website and then look at the size in comparison. You can kind of tell. I'm going to put these together for you guys and I'll measure it then and tell you guys how big it is and all that good stuff. And then she also sent this cute little flower die. So you get one, two, three, four different sizes for each flower. That's cool. And you know what? I was looking at these and they kind of remind me of like, these would be really cute strawberry tops. Like if you do those 3D strawberries and you put them on top. So I may do that with these. Okay. So mylittlecraftyshop.com, you guys. Go check her out. She is such a sweetheart. I love Lisa so much. She is just the bomb. And I'm excited to continue to work with her. So four new dyes that are in the shop. Go snatch them while you can. And while you're there, check out the other stuff that she has. I can't believe she still has some stuff in stock. Especially that little purse. Okay. And then she has this, you guys. I saw her YouTube video. Once again, I'm going to link her channel down below so you guys can check out all the details. But this is like, first of all, like it's pink. Look at that. And it's thick. She thick. She thick. She thicker than a snicker. And crafty friends and swaps. So this is a really cool thing to get you guys organized. And I love this especially because I have a place to write my birthdays. I am so bad with birthdays. I don't even know how I can keep up with my kids' birthdays, to be honest with you. So I'm excited for this. Now, she sells this in her shop, you guys, okay? But she only has a limited amount. You, if you want to order this, I suggest, and she suggests that you order it off of Amazon, okay? Because it will be a lot cheaper with shipping for you. The cost will be a lot cheaper for you. And um, especially if you have like Prime or whatever, you'll get it really quickly and you can order it from Amazon, okay? But again, she does have some in store. If you're already placing the order and you want to, you know, order it from her site, you can do that as well. But she suggests that you grab it from Amazon. Guys, this is so cute. And she has another book. Um, I think it's for like if you sell items or something like that. Look at how cute. So we have a table of contents. There's um, a place for you to do birthdays, January and February. All the different birthday months. Swaps at a glance. We have Crafty Friends. Crafty Friends Page Finder. So if you have a ton of Crafty Friends that you swap with and stuff like that, or you're writing a lot of information, you can put them in the list. And I'll show you what I mean. And you can go to that page and find where, wherever that person is, okay? So we have um, Swaps Challenge Details. I know you guys love swapping and doing challenges and stuff like that. So this is going to be great. Great, great, great for you. Swaps Challenge Details Page Finder. Again, so that you don't have to like flip through all the pages. You go to that page and you find the person's name and go to that page. Swaps Challenge Inspiration Shipping Expenses and Crafty Haul Tracker. I need a book this thick for my Crafty Haul Trackers, Lisa. And it has to have a lock so I can lock my husband up out of that shit. Okay, so first we have birthdays. And again, this is this is going to be my favorite part of this book. So we have like January to the 31st of January. And you will just like write, you know, whoever's birthday, the date, the date, the 12th, their birthday. That's Elijah's birthday. You know, so this is going to be cool for me to reference for birthdays. Okay, so we have every month. And then we have swaps at a glance. And she said that she didn't put the months here just in case, like for January, if you don't, you don't have anything planned for January or whatever, you don't have to waste that square. You can just write in the date, the month and blah, blah, you know, whatever you want to put in here. I'm swapping with this person, Maggie Holmes, blah, blah, blah. You know, you can put the little details there. 
We have Crafty Friends. And this is what I'm talking about where you can put the name. So you can put so-and-so, you know, you have a whole list of people that, um, that are crafty friends. Okay, let me see. Yeah, this is the information or information. So if I want to go to so-and-so's to find out their birthday, their YouTube channel, whatever, all their information, I can, I know that they're going to be on page 86 and I don't got to flip through all this, Okay. So here goes the card where you will write the information so you can put their name, their YouTube, their address, which is awesome to keep um, track of everyone's address and information, crafty style, their favorites. So you can message them and ask them, what's your favorites, girl? What colors do you like? And you can just fill this in with their information, their Instagram, their email, their phone number, their birthday, and their favorites. Okay. And then you can write some notes here. And you can put the dates on when you sent them stuff, swap, rec, card, DM, email, sent, received. So this is really cool, you guys. This is going to be a nice way and a really pretty way to um, document the stuff and have records of all this. You know what I mean? And get organized. All right. So there's tons of pages. So you, you swap a lot. If you do like to send a lot of racks or whatever, this is the book for you guys. Look at all these pages. Tons. I love that. Okay. What's next? Let's see. I think she said she did like 50 pages for that, you guys. Really awesome. Wait, what's this? I want to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Okay. So this is the back of it. And the same thing. You can write a log of when they sent, received, and the date. All right, the next one is swaps and challenge details, okay? So, again, here goes, like, the table of contents, if you will. Um, put the person's name, what page they're on, and then, again, so you don't got to be flipping through all these pages trying to find them. Just find their name and go to that page. And this is the information that you would put here. So, the swap, the challenge name, hosted by whoever the person is, their YouTube channel, Instagram, email, due date, mailing date, and that's going to be good to keep track of stuff like that. Send return, whether you have to send return postage or not, total number of swaps needed, and then um, their shipping address. You can write the requirements here, and you can check it off. Make sure you got all the requirements, and you can kind of, you know, doodle down whatever kind of ideas you have for that, okay? And their front and back. That's awesome. What a neat little book, you guys. You guys have to comment down below on this video and let me know what you think of this new release. This is awesome. Inspiration. Just want to make sure, yeah. So tons of paper for you to join, tons of sw swaps and challenges and stuff like that and write all the information there. This is Inspiration. So this is awesome. I love this so that people can credit people more. Um, inspiration to make. And then the person's name, the video name, and then whatever notes. This is just really cool to like, okay, like, you know, I know we all have like this wish list of things that we've seen people make and we want to um, make ourselves. So this is great. Um, I usually like if I see something really cute and I want to make it, I'll screenshot it. And I'll have that like my screenshots or whatever. So this is cool to actually write it down and get all the information the youtuber's name um the video name and all that good stuff and the dates okay so this is great i love that give credit y'all somebody inspires you give them credit all right so we have tons of pages for that so y'all can get inspired shipping expenses okay so this is great for like you know, if you do your own taxes and stuff like that, or just for you to have on file, you can put the date, who you sent to, for what, the cost, and then how much you spent year to date. Okay? So that's really cool. And you could probably fit a couple of different dates within a box. Hopefully you can't hear the TV. Close that door, Elijah. So there's a couple of pages for that. And then, dun, 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 dun. Lisa, can you make me an entire book with this, with the lock and a key to throw it out? Uh-uh, close your door and leave my door open. Thank you. He thinks he's slick. 
Crafty Haul track Tracker. Oh my God. I don't know, Lisa. I don't know if I can do this part. Crafty Haul Tracker so you can put the dates, the store, and what you purchased. Okay? So, so even if it's like eBay or whatever, you can put the cost and then how much you spent year to date. Oh my God. I'm not telling on myself like that, baby girl. <laughs> I'll put all the, the low stuff and just show my husband. Babe, I had to not spend that much money this month. Look, I only spent $5 at Dollar Tree on this day. Like, and there's a couple of them. <laughs> oh my God, that is so cute, you guys. And that is it. So cute. I love the pink cover. Again, I'm going to leave everything linked down below. I think this is so neat, you guys. Make sure you snatch this. Let me know your thoughts down below, guys on what you think about this book and this new release. I'm excited to play with these dies. I hope that you guys are too. Don't forget to use my code Poochie 10 And again, if you're interested in ordering this book, snatch it on Amazon so you can save some money, okay? Because we all need to save a little coin here and there, okay? I love you guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. All the links will be down below. Bye.